this is it, Corvo. Last memories of Dunwall Tower might not be good ones, huh? So maybe you can make up for what happened back then. It'll be a bit of a climb from the water lot. Most important thing is killing the Lord Regent. Built himself quite a place at the top of the tower. Calls it his safe room or something. Crazy if you ask me. Another point of interest while I'm giving you the grand tour, Corvo. Broadcast control station here where all them announcements come from. Might be worth looking into. You ready? Next time I see you, the Lord Regent will be dead. And if not, well, it was an honor to serve with you. Hello and welcome everybody. This is Joseph Leibach. Here's some time for more Dishonor. In the last episode, we spent a few minutes prepping for this final conflict, for this final confront, confrontation with the Lord Regent. Sorry, I couldn't say anything. In this episode, we're going to be revisiting the area we visited way, way, way back in the beginning, only it's a little different now. Instead of being brought up through a water tower like we did before, we actually have to climb our way up. Because they are, they are terrified of us right now. So yeah, let's go ahead and climb up. Let's go ahead and climb up and get to the Lord Regent, shall we? Um, yeah, that would have hurt. Uh, this is gonna be an area where bit some like bend time is gonna come in handy. At least this opening bit here. Um, and actually, I just realized it's a we just passed a uh, bone charm. Okay, so right here we have a bunch of rats. Um, yeah, this, this is an exciting battle, isn't it? <laughs> Actually, playing it yourself, it probably is very exciting. Because <laughs> these rats do not take long to... Well, they take a while to kill you, but they don't take long to kill most others. Um, but, yeah, so I think actually we need to go this way to get to the... Whoa. That was exciting. That guy didn't look like he survived much. Ugh. Well, that's... That was terrifying, seeing <laughs> that body. Uh, Mokum Host. You can now possess rats for longer. Uh, we don't need, don't need to worry about that. We haven't... And possessed many rats. Um, but yeah, so we got that room. Uh, or bone charm, excuse me. Next we need to keep making our way out. Um, I think we need to make our way over that way. Actually, I know, I know for a fact that we can get up higher faster. Um, I think you can just like climb up that and then you just make your way up to these platforms here and then make your way up here so you don't have to go through that Tunnel, tunneling process like what we did, what I did. Um, okay, so it looks like that. Woo! That was close. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna change that to work for us just in case things get, get a little out of hand. That'll be like a last resort sort of thing. Um, so right, so right down here is gonna be like a safe, a safe room in case things get out of hand. And I, cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna have to worry about people trying to kill me. I saw it looked like a potion here. Yep, there we go. Oh, let's go ahead and use one anyway. Um. Attention, okay, so. All new assignments report directly to the duty officer. We have a guy that we can knock out. I don't want to carry him because I don't want to. I don't want someone coming in and finding him. There you go. I think if you left click, you just drop them on the ground. You don't toss them because I've been using, I've been pressing E like pretty much the entire game that, in the like. Throw him forward. Yeah, got two guards right there. We got another guard right there. Um, 
The tricky part is gonna be getting this guard. Whoa! Huh? There we go. That was easy. <laughs> we'll pick this guy up. And we'll kind of hide behind here. Okay, that guard's moving the other direction, so we're good. Um, you're gonna see me try. You're gonna see me try and be a lot more stealthy in this than I norm than I normally am in my other episodes. Um, that's just a heads up because usually this is this is typically how I normally play the game. I'm very trying to be stealthy and. If I fail, I typically just hit just hit F9 and do in a quick load. Obviously, I can't do that here because, huh? and of course, um, obviously I can't do that here because that's where my uh, there you go, my uh, uh, recording software. Is connected to F9. If I had F9, I stop recording my video and have to re. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> they know I'm here because of that. Um. Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! I'm here, tall boy. Right there, can I? One thing I didn't mention last episode about the tall boys. Crossbow uh, sleep darts do not work on them. Uh, they explain in the story there's something about the tall boys. Like they they pump them up with like this kind with like these kind of uh, sedatives or something. They pump them so full of this chemical and stuff that kind of puts them in this lucid state where like nothing works. Like they're like kind of, it's kind of like their own, their own, uh, I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to think of what, what, what a real world drug is. I think cocaine? It's like if you, if you take that, you get really angry or something, you get really aggressive. It's kind of like something like that, I think. Um, I don't know, I, was, I don't know, I don't do, I don't do drugs, so I, I can't really say. I just know from... Friends of friends of friends, and the internet. You know where most people know. Most people get the knowledge from. <laughs> oh, and and those several movies where like every where they come out with like this super drug thing that's like. Got a prowler up. It's like unlike any drug you've ever seen before in your life, bro. Right? And I didn't hit him. <laughs> oh, that's that's kind of not. Uh, anyway, um, that was um. Oh crap! That top one might see these guys. Um, really? Okay, no, he won't. I think we're good here. I think we cleared out most enemies in this opening area. That then they won't be coming back. But just in case, I'm gonna. Okay, that cooking still tosses them. See, what does E do? Kind of toss them up. So maybe it's E. That's all I've been pressing that the whole time. Eh. I don't remember what I've been pressing the whole time. <laughs> obviously, I'm an idiot. Obviously, I'm an idiot. I'm gonna get like a million comments saying either, oh no, it doesn't work, or. Or, uh, oh, you need to be pressing this button. Isn't it obvious? I mean, you, you see it right there. Right there. Like, there's a difference between playing it and watching someone else play it. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, but anyway, um. Actually, before going further, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode off here for now. So we've kind of started infiltrating the base. Um. Actually, no, no, hold on, hold on. No, never mind, never mind. Um. Never mind. No, it. Never mind, what am I talking about? I'm like 10 minutes into this. 11 minutes into this. Nothing that. Um, forgot. Ah! Ah, get out of the way! Get out of the way! There's a rocket launching turret out there trying to kill me! 
thought that was, thought that was, the, I thought those vines were tall boys. It was a tall boy there for a second. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we still have time. Okay, so I screwed, I screwed up there. My, uh, I forgot to turn my, uh... Not to set. How's that guy not seen us yet? Oh, he's seeing us, he's seeing us! Get down, get down! Get down! Damn it! Damn it! Got a sitting guy on top of me now. <laughs> uh, well, what was the quote from DBZ Abridged? Beaten and broken, broken on top. On. Beaten and broken underneath a, na underneath a naked child. Yep, it's time for me to go. <laughs> uh. We gotta start all the way from back here. Oh wow. Oh wow, this is. Oh my. Um, so to say, another thing I haven't been doing a lot in this Let's Play that I normally do is I save often. But ob obviously, I don't because if I I only save after uh, between recording sessions because if something goes wrong, I have to find a way back there. Um, I could always hard save, but I never remember the hard save. And there's a, the game usually, usually, usually pretty good at sa at a checkpoint saving, like giving you decent checkpoints and everything. So yeah, um, I have I have a rare opportunity to show you a different way of playing this. <laughs> And that guy's facing. I don't want to go. Um, just so you know, I believe if you're on the other side, and this guy's looking, I don't think he will see you. Hey, what's going on there? And of course. Um, Wait, did you just say it looked like I disappeared? <laughs> what, because I... What, because I went into a corner of a wall? <laughs> man, man, what's in the sleep darts? <laughs> Maybe that's what they're pumping the tall boys full of. The sleep, like, concentrated doses of the sleep darts and these cause major hallucinatory effects. Okay, I'm gonna actually... Start that guy. Oh wow! Wait. Let me try this again. Oh, whoops! <laughs> the guy walked right to the right to the to the wall as soon as I. Oh wow! That stops everything. Again, I'm actually quite surprised they didn't turn that on. <laughs> um, which I actually don't need to worry about that anymore. Um, we do need to work over here where I'm going to disable this. Toss that out. And there you go. Attention, Dunwall Tower personnel. Remain on post until you receive further orders. Okay, so we're pretty much back to where we were before. Whew! Um... I may get to end the episode off here after all, looking at the time. Uh... There we go. And I just... think I got caught. Did I? 
I sort of did. Like, I think they saw me, but they didn't see where I went. So, um... I'm gonna end the episode off here. So, yeah, the next episode will be... Entering the fortress proper and getting, uh... Getting into Dunwall Tower. And, yeah. So, yeah. Um, until then, I'll see you guys later.